Welcome to the CBT Micro Nugget of Office in the Cloud. I'm Chris Ward and excited to show you just a little bit about what it means to be able to use Microsoft Office products like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and do it on a web-based portal. The question is asked a lot, and if you've been around the IT industry for at least three to four years, you might have a good understanding of what this is. But uh, for most people, they might say, hey, what is the cloud? I mean, you hear Cisco talking about it with their uh, new systems and HP and IBM, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, all the big people are talking about the cloud. Well, we just want to show you that the cloud is essentially, and this is a very simplified uh, explanation but it's basically software storage and computing that is not on your local machine or I should say machines, because obviously you can have servers, multiple machines, you can have a laptop and a desktop, yada, yada, yada. So what does that mean? Well, think about this. A cloud, in, in the old days, if we want to send email, so let's say I've got Jeremy here, Jeremy Chara, famous CBT Nugget instructor, who wants to send an email over here to Rachel and to Dan Charbonneau, CEO and big boss. Dan, however, has more hair. So he would take his email, and so we, you know, create his email, doop, 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 and then he would send it over here to his local server, his Exchange server, and then that email would then make its way to Rachel and over to Dan. And that's, you know, pretty straightforward, isn't it? You, you know, you just go in there and say, all right, I'm sending my email. Well, what they've done is now instead of doing that, let's say that you move, let's say you got rid of this. You don't have it anymore, but instead you have servers that are out here in the internet, out in the cloud, as they like to call it. You got these data centers full of computers and servers run by things like, you know, mail, like, you know, you have a Gmail account, or you might have a Yahoo account. And so you've got all these things out there. So what would happen is instead of Jeremy sending email to through his local machines, he would type it up and then he would send it out through an internet connection. It would be processed by those servers out there in the cloud and then sent back to Dan and Rachel. And by the way, it's not just email. It could be documents. Uh, you know, you might familiar some of these services like Amazon's S3, which is a storage cloud. You've got things like, of course, a G Drive, by, uh, which is Google's latest version or what they call what they do. You know, Microsoft, of course, has SkyDrive and Office 365. So how this all works now is instead of having all of those great things with Office products, so, you know, you used to have your laptop here. So here's my laptop with my screen or uh, keyboard here and my screen here and I have like maybe an Excel file running locally on my computer. Instead now, everything is up here in the cloud, all of your Office products. Now we're used to having things like instant messaging. Instant messaging, that's been, obviously, you have to have an internet connection. Yeah, you can do local stuff through a server, you know, and, and do messaging, and that's fine. But most of it's going to be done through the cloud. Web conferencing, just by having the web in there, you know, that's online. Those are typical things. But what about now, not just email, but email now is up in the cloud. Your web apps, which are going to be everything now from Excel, Word, PowerPoint, even OneNote, uh, are all going to be located and operated up here in the cloud. Document storage, ah, don't need a big hard drive over here now. You can now all be stored up there utilizing SharePoint, and you can even get this. You don't have to have a local copy. You can edit that document up here. You can edit it and co uh, collaborate with people in real time, all happening over here. All that you need for this, get this folks, is an internet, if I can spell, internet connection. So that 
is how cloud can take all your office applications now and make it something you can access just merely utilizing an internet connection and that's essentially if you want to know what's the mystery about office 365 that's what it's about i hope you enjoyed this and i want to thank you for joining me